Hey, I'm Pete, the co-founder of Moscow Moto, and in today's video, I want to talk to you about the various options for storage, internal storage, in your motorcycle luggage, like your motorcycle panniers, your motorcycle duffel, when you're going on an extended trip. I'm going to give you my take. You may have your own take, um, but this is how I do it. So from my perspective, there's four main options for internal organization. You got organizer bags, you got stuff sacks, you got compression sacks, and you got pack and loose. Those are your four main options. So organizer bags, that would include things like your dop kit, your tool roll, a packing cube. They're basically things that you take a bunch of loose, smaller items and put them into it. So instead of a bunch of small items, you have one big item, and that's just easier to pack and unpack, and it helps you keep things straight when you're traveling. Then the second option is a stuff sack. And um, a stuff sack is like what you get with your tent or your sleeping bag or your sleeping pad. It provides some compression, but not a ton of compression, just a little compression, but it leaves the item nice and malleable so it can conform to like the shape of a pannier or it can conform around other things that are in the bag. And then finally, you've got compression sacks. Compression sacks are recognizable because they have these ladder lock buckles on the side, so you can really cinch them down. So this is actually our ectotherm heated jacket I have in here, which also gives you a sense for how small the ectotherm packs, which is cool. Um, but uh, it gets things that are, have a lot of loft to them really tiny, um, but they're not perfect. You know, initially you might think, oh, that's a great way to get things small, but there's two hassles with these. First is it's really hard to get access to your stuff. So if this has my heated jacket in it, I pull over to the side of the road or the side of the trail and I want to put it on. First, I got to unpack the stuff sack and then I got to put it back in the stuff sack. And then also if you have a lot of things in here, like you, you unpack a camp and everything comes out, your tent, your sleeping bag, your, your uh, heated jacket or your jacket or whatever, your puffy. Um, and then all that stuff comes out in the morning, it all has to be restuffed. And it's just one more hassle. Uh, when you're tearing down your campsite. Um, and then the second problem with these is that they make everything into these really tight, compact little footballs. And if you can imagine what it would be like having two of these next to each other, there's actually a lot of wasted space between them. So things don't pack that well. They don't conform to the pannier. They don't conform around the other items that are next to them. And you end up with quite a bit of wasted space. Um, the fourth option is packing loose. So don't use any of these. And uh, that's something I do when I'm on a, a really compact trip, like if I'm camping out of a reckless tent on a dirt bike and all I have is 10 liters on the bike and my backpack, I need to use every available square inch of space, then I'm not going to use any of these options. I won't use stuff sacks, compression sacks, nothing, because the pannier is my compression sack. So I'm going to pack everything loose and my toothbrush is mixed in with my tow rope and my tools and my sleeping bag is stuffed in there. Um, all of that's in there because I need all of the space. And that's fine when you're on a really minimalist trip and you need to, take, to make use of everything. But the problem with it, of course, is you get to your tent and all your stuff is like in just this jumble. You just have to dump out the whole bag. So when you're traveling for weeks or months, you have a lot more stuff and it's just not practical to travel that way. And that's where these things come into play. In my opinion, there's not one winner out of these options. Um, so you really need to use all of them. Uh, that's the best way to do it. So for example, I might use a compression sack for things that have a lot of loft and that I don't use all that often. Um, I'll use the stuff sack whenever possible for my sleeping bag, for my tent, um, and I'll only put those in compression sacks if I absolutely have to to make space. Organizer bags I use for like clothing, tools, dop kit, things like that. Um, and then I leave some things loose always so that I can stuff them in around all these different things that are in the bag and take up any spots in there that aren't used. So that's how I do it. If you have a different take, please leave it in the comments below. I'd love to read it. I'm always super interested in learning how people pack and how they take advantage of their space and their luggage. Um, also, if you have questions, leave a comment with that and I'll try and answer them all. Thanks for watching.